This is Jason Blake, local banker, off to pick up three friends for their weekly golf game. And this is Jason's new 1970 Monaco four-door hardtop, proof that luxury is not measured by price alone, proof that Jason Blake is Dodge material. Jason likes everything about his new Monaco, which he picked up yesterday. He likes the big, spacious trunk, and he particularly likes the trunk carpet and spare tire cover. Optional on Monaco, but standard on Monaco 500 and Monaco Brome. Then there's the new steering column lock and ignition switch combination. When the key is removed, the steering wheel and gear shift are locked, and a warning buzzer sounds if Jason opens his door without removing the key. But Jason is particularly pleased with a smooth, silent ride, and is anxious to see how it impresses his friends. Here he is pulling up to Frank Martin's home. Frank is a federal court judge, and that's Frank coming down the drive. Let's listen. That's a fine-looking automobile, Jason. When did you get it? Picked it up last night, Frank. The banking business must be good, huh? Well, not bad. But you'd be surprised how little Monaco costs. Let me tell you, it's a lot less than you'd think from its size and looks. Come on, get in. Ah, I see you've got it all cooled down for me. Nothing like air conditioning. Say, now, it's really rich looking in here. But I suppose all that wood rain is optional. No, Frank, it's standard. So is the full foam seat and that armrest you're enjoying. Not that you can't have anything you want. Practically any option you can think of is available. There's an AM-FM multiplex stereo, an AM radio stereo tape combination, automatic deck lid release, power door locks. You name it, Monaco's got it. Sounds like you're really sold. You bet I am. Hello, Walt. Morning, Jason. This that new Monaco you've been talking about? Uh, it sure is. Somehow it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be from what you said. Well, it's as big as any car needs to be. In fact, Walt, you wait till you get inside. It actually has more room than any other U.S. built car. I really like the looks of that big rear bumper and uh, the way those tail lights are set back in the bumper. Uh, what are those slots? The backup lights. Come on, you two. We'll be late. Okay, Frank. Uh, well, we ought to know better than to play golf with a judge, Jason. Say, like the looks of the interior. And what you said about this having more room than any other U.S. built car certainly seems to be true. Oh, wait a minute. Did you forget something? No. That stretch of road we just went over makes my car sound like it's coming apart. And just now I didn't feel a thing. Now that you mention it, Walt, my car takes a pretty good beating on that piece of road. But just now, I didn't notice a thing either. What do you have in here, Jason? Some special kind of suspension? What? Well, you perceptive gentlemen have just discovered what really sold me on Monaco. Fortunately for you, I have the full story, and here it is. It's a brand new suspension called Torsion Quiet Ride, and it's standard in every Monaco for 1970. Every part of the suspension system is isolated from the passenger compartment by a thick rubber cushion. Take that gavel you use in the courtroom, Frank. It makes a noise, and vibration is transmitted up the handle. But put a thick piece of rubber under that gavel, and there's no noise, no shock, no vibration. I can understand how that cuts down on the noise and vibration all right, but there was something else. This Monaco didn't roll all around, uh, well, like my caddy does. That's because Monaco uses torsion bars in front instead of coil springs, and leaf springs in the rear instead of coil springs. Coil springs give you the soft ride, but it's too soft for control on any kind of rough surface. Next time you think of it, give your record turntable a flip and watch how it quivers and shakes. Coil springs, great for the turntable. Ah, there's Harrison waiting for us. Morning, Jason, Frank, Walt. Looks like a great day for golf. Hey, this that new car you've been talking about, Jason? You're right. Yeah, I like the big wraparound bumper, the grill. Hey, side marker bulbs and reflectors right on the bumper. Good idea. Say, those are big-looking tires. They are big. 878s, fiberglass belted, wheel discs. Standard or optional? Standard. Good lines, long hood, shorter rear deck. Jason, I think you've bought a winner. <laughs> oh, glad you think so, Harrison. You just picked me some winners in the market. It feels like there's plenty of power. What's under the hood? It's the standard V8, 383 cubic inches, 290 horsepower. Is the automatic transmission standard? No, it's optional. 
The standard transmission with the 383 is a three-speed manual that is fully synchronized in all three forward speeds. Say, here we are already. All right, let's get our minds off of cars and on golf. Wow, sure is hot out here. Wish we could take the air conditioning with us. While Jason and his friends are playing golf, let's have a little closer look at the Monaco. In addition to the standard 383 two-barrel, there are two optional V8 engines for 1970. A 444 barrel with single exhaust and a 444 barrel with dual exhaust, both rated at 350 horsepower. The standard fully synchronized three-speed manual transmission is available with a 383 only. Torque flight automatic is standard with both optional engines. The hood looks longer because it is actually three inches longer. And the rear deck looks shorter because it is four inches shorter. The rear track is almost three inches wider, which adds to the stability and control. Traditional with torsion air suspension, and now combined with a new torsion quiet feature, it results in an unbelievably smooth and quiet ride. The new larger tires, H78 on hardtops and sedans, J78 and L78 on station wagons, add to the stable ride of Monaco, plus offering all of the extra mileage of a fiberglass belted tire. In addition to this wheel cover, which is standard on Monaco, there's a deep dish wheel cover and a styled road wheel with trim ring, optional at extra cost. Floating caliper front disc brakes are available with the power brake option. Bright trim on the brake and accelerator pedal is standard in Monaco. The cloth and vinyl bench seat with folding center armrest is standard in Monaco sedan and four-door hardtop models. The colors available are blue, green, tan, gold, and black. All vinyl with a center armrest is standard in the Monaco two-door hardtop in blue, green, gold, burnt orange, and black. Also standard in Monaco wagons in blue, green, tan, and black. Optional at extra cost in the four-door sedan and hardtop are the cloth and vinyl 50-50 split bench seat with individual armrests and reclining passenger seat back in blue, green, and black. All vinyl 50-50 seats are optional in the four-door hardtop in green, burnt orange, and black. In station wagons, they're available in green, tan, and black. Bucket seats with a fixed center cushion and folding center armrest are optional at extra cost in the Monaco two-door hardtop, in burnt orange or black. The Monaco Brome package for 1970 adds trunk carpet, spare tire cover, and rear seat back insulation pad to the vinyl roof and nameplate on the C-pillar and the 50-50 seats and nameplates on the door trim panels. The Monaco 500 package is available on the two-door hardtop and it includes carpeted trunk, spare tire cover, rear seat back sound insulation pad, and full foam bucket seats with a fixed center cushion and folding center armrest. An extra cost console is available in place of the fixed center cushion and armrest. This three spoke steering wheel with a partial horn ring is standard on Monaco. There's a choice of three optional steering wheels, a three spoke wood grain wheel, a rim blow wheel, simply squeeze the wheel to sound the horn, and the tilt wheel, which can be tilted up and down for maximum driver comfort. The vinyl roof option comes in a choice of five colors, black, white, green, champagne, or gator grain. The automatic speed control for 1970 has been improved with the addition of an off position on the rotating collar control. Turning the collar to off deactivates the unit and erases the speed memory. And a full range of power equipment adds to the luxurious convenience of Monaco. From power windows to power seat, power steering, and power disc brakes, electric door locks, and vacuum deck lid release. The optional headlight delay unit causes the headlights to remain on for 90 seconds when the ignition is turned off first, and then the headlights are turned off. This gives you time to get to the house before the headlights turn themselves off automatically. This is a feature Jason will appreciate when he gets home late. Speaking of Jason, here they come making the turn for the second nine. Say, Jason, look at that crowd around your Monaco. 
It sure draws a bigger gallery than we do, and with good reason, the way we're playing today. You're right. If we could perform as well as your Monaco, maybe we'd draw a crowd, too. Like they say, all of those people could be Dodge material, and so could you. Hey, you really hit that one on the nose, Jason. Looks like I hit more than the ball right on the nose. They are Dodge material. Thank you.